Here's why Nikola Tesla was obsessed with the numbers 369. Tesla was widely regarded as one of the greatest inventors of all time, and he thought that these three numbers held the keys to unlocking the universe. I know what you're thinking, they're just numbers. I'm gonna break it down, there's a lot to this, so I'm gonna do this in three parts. Tesla would literally walk around his building three times, do everything either three, six, or nine times. He was obsessed. Some called him superstitious or said he had OCD, but many believed there was a lot more to this, including me after researching. Now first you have to understand sacred geometry, which is the study of natural shapes and numbers that existed long before human beings. Let's look at the binary system of numbers to understand. Alright, so look at the top of this to start. So as you double each number and add their sums, you'll get the numbers 1, 2, 4, 8, 7, and 5. For example, 8 plus 8 equals 16. 16 can be split into 1 and 6, which equals 7. If you do this forever, there are only three numbers that don't appear in the sum. You guessed it, 3, 6, and 9. In part 2, we're going to look at why. Here's why Nikola Tesla thought 3, 6, and 9 were the keys to unlocking the universe. This is part 2. You can go check out part 1 if you want to start from the beginning. So, as you see here, the numbers 1, 2, 4, 8, 7, 5 is a pattern that continues on for infinity, and when doubling these numbers within the binary system, the only numbers that don't appear are 3, 6, and 9. Part 1 has the explanation of what I was doing here. I urge you to write out these calculations for yourself because it, it almost it is too abstract without actually writing it out, but after I wrote this out, I understood a lot more about what Tesla was talking about. But let's try doubling 6. So, look at the top there. If you double it, all of the sums equal either 3 or 6, but none of them 9. For example, example, 24 and 24 is 48. 48 can be split into 4 and 8, which equals 12. 1 plus 2 equals 3. I know it's a bit complex, but trust me on this. When you write it out, it makes more sense. Double 9, the sum always equals 9. Try it for your As you see there, 36 and 36 is 72. 7 and 2 is 9. In part 3, we're going to pull it all together. And Here's why Nikola Tesla thought the numbers 3, 6, and 9 were the keys to unlocking the universe. This is part 3, so you can go check out part 1 and 2. It's very complex. I'm pulling it all together in this video, though. Okay, so let's pull it all together. We now know about the pattern 1, 2, 4, 8, 7, 5, with the 3, 6, and 9 missing. So, if you put those into an order, check this out. All numbers next to each other equals 3, 6, or 9. Look at the 3 and the 6 next to each other equals 9, the 2 and the 7, 9, 8 and 1, 9. 5 and 4, 9. Plus, if you add all of the numbers together, it equals 9. And if you get the sum of 45, 4 plus 5, you guessed it. I know you're still probably thinking, okay, so what? This is a weird coincidence. It's just a bunch of numbers. But all of this is relevant because this right here is called the shape of enlightenment. Tesla drew inspiration from the Great Pyramids of Giza, another one of his obsessions. And the pyramids draw on the exact same mathematical principles. 3, 6, and 9, and these patterns existed long before humans. But do your own research and write this all out. Five signs you're a visual learner. One, you're good at remembering faces, not names. Visual learners learn through images, so when you meet someone, you can always recognize them again. But remembering their names, another story. Two, you prefer to see directions, not hear them. So if you're lost, you'd rather look at Google Maps or Waze, not hear Siri spew out a bunch of different directions. Three, your mind wanders during lectures. Do you find yourself zoning out during a class lecture or a long speech? That's a good sign you're a visual learner because you don't have engaging visual stimuli. Four, you're detail-oriented. Visual learners always notice the little things. Five, you're talented at the arts. Visual learners tend to be very talented at stuff like painting, music, drama, anything that they can visualize in their heads and then create. File for more tips. Here's a simple hack to remember everything you learn. It's called the Feynman Technique. First, pick something you want to understand. Two, write out an explanation as if you were teaching it to someone else. Three, fill in the gaps that you haven't yet understood. Four, simplify so that everyone could understand you. Here's what it actually feels like to die. First, you'll lose all thoughts and desires. Then your senses will start to go, starting off with thirst and hunger, then your sight will go, and the last to go is your hearing and touch. As you become too weak to breathe, you'll start hearing a strange noise in the back of your throat. This is known as the death rattle, and when that happens, buckle up. Because you're about to leave your body for the first time. Your life will flash before your eyes as your body exits the physical world. Then you'll follow the light through the tunnel and die. This is a simple reason why 97% of people fail to change their life for the better. 
according to science. This theory is called the emotional cycle of change, and here's how it works. When you want to change something about your life, it doesn't matter if it's diet, grades, or relationships, you go through four stages of a cycle of change. First stage is called uninformed optimism. And this is basically the stage when you know nothing about this new thing that you're trying, but you're really, really excited for no reason. Second stage is called informed pessimism. And this is when you've tried this thing and you realized that you suck. So you enter the valley of despair. But 3% of people make it to the third stage, which is called informed optimism. And this basically means that you have tried this thing for a while and now you don't think it's that hard or it's really not that bad and you feel like you can do it. And the last stage is completion. That's basically when you've implemented the desired change in your life and you feel good about yourself. Please share this video with a friend who really needs this. Who do you think is the most educated country in the world? Today we're looking at the top 10 most educated countries. Today we are ranking countries by the highest percentages of populations that have completed either a two-year degree or a four-year degree or vocational school. At number 10 is Luxembourg. Number nine is Norway. Number eight is Finland. Number seven is Australia. Number six is the United States. Number five is the United Kingdom. Number four is Korea. Before I do the top three, please click like and then share and copy link. It'll help the video trend. Thank you. Number three is Israel. Number two is Japan. And at number one, ranked the most educated country in the world is Canada. Here are four signs that you could be a genius. Number one, you forget simple things. A brilliant mind is always overflowed with thoughts and ideas, which means you could be a little bit scatterbrained and forget things easily. Number two, you question everything. You probably find yourself asking some pretty deep questions, like where does the thought go when it's forgotten? Number three, you talk to yourself. Studies show that talking to yourself is actually a sign of higher intelligence. Number four, you overthink everything. You're probably stressed pretty often because you always have questions in your head. Finland is constantly ranked as having one of the best educational systems in the world. But why is that? In Finland, they believe in less is more. Elementary school kids only go to school 20 hours a week, 3 hours a day. And that's including lunch, by the way. There's almost no homework. And they have no standardized tests until the end of high school. Their reason for all of this is that they want kids to have more time to be creative. And they don't want kids just to learn things for a test, but to actually have fun while learning things. It seems to be working because they're always ranked first or second for maths and science. Oh yeah, and university's free. Another reason why they're so good is because teachers are respected there. You need a master's credit just to become a teacher and that puts you in the same spotlight as doctors and lawyers. Even though their pay is like Canadian teachers, they only work 3-4 to four hours a day with lunch. Why don't we adopt this system here? It's because schools here are evaluated by test scores. The better the test scores, the higher rank the school is and the more resources it gets. So schools are fighting each other here. Really weird human body facts that I can guarantee you didn't know. Your hair actually grows faster if you're anticipating sex. Your brain has the consistency of soft butter. Because of the elasticity of your skin, it would actually take three full rotations to remove a human head. Tricks to learn anything faster right now. Focus for only 20 to 25 minutes. Take a break for one to five minutes. Then start again. It's called the Pomodoro Technique. Your brain remembers better in short bursts. <laughs> Here are five dream signs you should never ignore. Number one, being chased. This means you're trying to avoid something in your everyday life. Number two, falling or drowning. This is your subconscious telling you that things are way too out of control in your life. Number three, flying. This means you're ready to make a bold new decision in your life and head down a new path. Number four, being lost. This is your subconscious actually telling you that you're going in the wrong direction in life and you need to make a change. Number five, being naked. This means that you're worried about getting judged by other people in your life. Comment which one you've had. Really weird human body facts that I can guarantee you didn't know. Cortisol is a stress hormone that is only released through sweat and tears. So if you're like really stressed out, working out and crying can actually make you feel better. But if you're not doing either of those things, that hormone will actually get turned into fat cells. It's extremely common for people to have the urge to poop just before having a heart attack. 
When you die, one of the last senses to go is actually your hearing. So just imagine, right after you pass, your entire family is just talking shit about you. I'm talking. Here's what would happen if every boy on Earth disappeared. Half the human population would immediately vanish. And quite honestly, the girls might have a blast at first. Of course, until they realize they're out of water. This is because almost all of the water treatment operators are men. Then, it is likely that all the power around the world would go out later that night. Because men happen to make up 90% of all electricians, engineers, and mechanics. And of course, the world itself would likely soon fall into chaos. Because 70% of all world leaders happen to be men. This, of course, would likely lead to a global apocalypse and the extinction of the human race. Welcome to Criminal TikTok, and let's just say you accidentally stole some sperm from the sperm bank. Would you know how much to sell it for on the black market? No? Well, I'll give you a black market list on commonly stolen items. For educational purposes, of course. Breast milk generally goes for about $1 an ounce. A stolen social media account usually goes for around $2 each. A vial of holy water on the black market usually goes for about $30. Syrup on the black market usually goes for about $36 per unit. A human wig with actual human hair usually goes for about $60 on the black market. A stolen passport usually costs about $90, however sometimes you have to do some photoshopping. A fake ID goes for about $120, however you also have to do some photoshopping. A vial of sperm usually goes for about $400 depending on the person. The average organ goes for about $3,000 on the black market. A living human usually goes for about $8 million. The corpse of a celebrity usually goes for about $45 million. Here are three tips that could actually save your life. Number one, if you're stuck in an elevator, do not try to pry the door open and wiggle yourself out, because that will upset the equilibrium and you will be crushed. Number two, if you notice a car is following you, do not try to go to your house. You need to make four right turns in a row to see if they're actually following you. But if they are following you, you need to go to a police station immediately. Number three, if you're outside during a thunderstorm and your hair starts doing this, you need to seek shelter as fast as you can, because you're about to be struck by lightning. Sorry fellas, but women live longer than us. Men are expected to live up to 76 in the US, while women, 81. But women tend to outlive men not only in the US, but worldwide. Studies show that men are more likely to do unhealthy things like smoke cigarettes and drink heavily. Also, we're more likely to do stupid and dangerous things. Example A. <laughs> yeah fellas, we're killing ourselves.